Design by Dragging is a direct-as-possible interface for creative design by engineers, artists, and others. We demonstrate the approach with two examples. For medical device engineering, the problem of designing a vacuum-assisted biopsy device. And for visual effects, design using a physically-based flame simulation. To drive the exploration in a new direction, the designer simply grabs onto the geometry of the device and reshapes it. If the interaction implies a drastic change to the underlying model, then the interaction space is treated as a proxy model, which settles back to the underlying model once the interaction is complete. Notice that the system updates immediately and continuously in response to the designer's input. The system displays a morph between the starting point and the closest result in the direction indicated by the designer. Since these direct manipulation interfaces control simulation input parameters, such as the device geometry and loads applied, we call this style of interaction forward design. The power of design by dragging is combining forward design with inverse design. In inverse design, the user specifies a desired output, and the system determines the inputs that best generate this output. We introduce the technique of using a direct manipulation on top of a visualization of simulation results in order to create a continuous visual query for use in inverse design. The system responds immediately, again by displaying a morph between the closest pre-computed results. Preview bubbles provide the designer with hints. Each bubble is a magic lens that shows what the simulation output would look like if the designer dragged his cursor to the center of the bubble. Since the bubbles are created in screen space, a more detailed local visualization of design alternatives can be viewed by zooming in. The designer can explore what-if scenarios or explore questions such as, what causes this visual output? The interface can also be driven by multi-touch input. After touching a point of interest, an ISO contour is extracted and triangulated to create a control mesh. The as rigid as possible shape manipulation algorithm is used to reshape the control mesh and the underlying data using multiple touch points. The added control enables designers to rapidly specify complex and even global changes to the data. Additional widgets can be used to refine the way that the algorithm traverses the design space. Both input and output parameters can be locked at the current value or weighted more or less heavily. The widget also changes color during morphs to provide a cue for the uncertainty in the current data display. Beyond geometric constraints, more complex input parameters can also be specified. These curves define the load response profile for the motor of the biopsy device and the properties of the tissue the device will cut. Design by dragging is applicable to many simulation-based design problems. The type of parameterized model that it takes as input is common. The interface can even be connected via networking to an API for commercial CAD packages so as to keep a CAD format model in sync with the current state of the design. We believe direct as possible interfaces for simulation can help us to realize the potential to use simulation not just for validation and verification, but also for creative human-in-the-loop design.